uh, Jaden having a uh, the 2023 season will be his third season. Is that right? With the uh, national tour for yeah, Jaden Rogers? Yeah, rookie third. of the year. Yeah. Now he races another car locally, but he's on back-to-back -back victories at Lincoln Park Speedway. That always builds confidence. Speaking of National Rookie of the Year, there's last year's National Rookie of the Year in the 47 BC making his entrance into turn number one. That's Emerson Axe of the Franklin, Indiana racer. Who are we missing? The madman Robert Ballou in the number 12. Ballou barely squeaking in the gate down here. He got yeah. caught in the traffic out on the interstate and had a heck of a time getting here. And he's one of those rare drivers who is a three-time winner of the Holman Classic is Robert Ballou. You know, what's funny about that is uh, something Brady was mentioned earlier on. Brady has never won the Holman Classic, which yeah. I find that hard to believe. Right. I did a little bit of a double take on that one myself. Also out on the racetrack. Uh, I'm looking for him. There he is. Yep, the 16th car underneath the flag stand. That's Scoot Newton. That's Kevin Newton in the 16th. TH car, 16th president, was Abraham Lincoln. And just behind him, Sterling Kling behind the wheel, the number 34. Kling, the racer out of Tempe, Arizona. Mostly non-wing stuff. Dabbles with the wing every now and then, but uh, picked up a win out to Copper Classic in the 360 wing spring car. Sure did. He's had success there, and he's been racing a lot also locally. Jake Swanson, Anaheim, California. Team AZ Racing, Apache Transport, Stratus Construction Entry. Jacob Furman, you said, the West Coast champion had success in USAC CRA. He's won the old Nats. The other thing that he has done, as you mentioned, number one in that uh, Yeah, Bubby Jones Bubby series. Jones, yeah. Master going fast. Yeah, so this is a Bubby Jones Master going faster presented by Spire Sports and Entertainment Race tonight. And that is a series within a series. There are nine events throughout the course of the season that qualify as a Bubby Jones Master going faster presented by Spire Sports and Entertainment. The driver who accumulates the most points across those nine races gets a $10,000 bonus at the end of the year, and the crew chief gets a $2,500 bonus at the end of the year. You know where Jake worked before relocating to Indiana, the owner of that facility was a longtime associate of Bubby Jones, fielded cars for Bubby. So there's a little bit of a connection there between those two. Yeah, and so very happy to be leading that series as it sits coming into tonight. Speaking of bonus money up for grabs, we've got a couple other racers to talk about before I get to that. But here's Mitchell Moles in the 19AZ, Amy Electrical, number 19AZ car. Mitchell Moles underneath the flag stand. Ivan Glotzbach in the I-1 just behind him. And then we talked about, I believe, everyone else out on the racetrack. So I'm going to take an opportunity to say that tonight during the uh, – Honest Abe Roofing qualifying. Not only is it Honest Abe Roofing qualifying, there is a bonus up as well. Yeah, courtesy of the Snap family. It's in honor of Steve Snap's fast qualifying effort back in June 1963. Steve is a member of the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame, as many of you know. Noted more to be a constructor and an owner, in particular his great years with Pancho Carter. One of the great characters, period, in the sport of auto racing. A great guy. His father had the Indianapolis 500, a Midwest sprint car champion in the 1930s. Susanna, very involved in racing with Hoosier Tire Midwest. Uh, obviously, her brother has worked in NASCAR and raced as well. So the Stab family have been around for some time. My understanding, $250 bonus for fast time. If you break the track record, $500, is that right? Yeah, another $250 if you break the track record. So they are putting up an additional $250 tonight from the Stapp family. And again, that's a memory of Steve DeBopper Stapp. And then they, if you can break the track record, which the current track record is a 19225. That was set by Brady Bacon back in 2014. But if you can break the track record just like Steve did back in the day, well, you get another $250. We're going to talk more about that. But what I really like about that is there's a whole group of people that have no idea that Steve ever got in a race car as a driver. I believe his first race came at Myers Stadium in Houston. Uh, got involved with midgets is a long story that Steve told me about one of his first road trips, but he quickly found out that probably his forte was with a ranch as an owner, um, and he was in the thick of it. By the way, that 1963 race, we'll mention this later, he finished fourth. The first five finishers of that event all of the National Sprinter Hall of Fame, all of them. Unbelievable. So getting set to go, we're going to keep packing down across the racetrack, getting set to go with our Dirt Draft Hot Laps coming up here in just a few. Dirt Draft is the first and only fantasy racing app where you compete against fans from all over the world by choosing a team of five drivers for each USAC event. Based on your driver's... Amsoil runs on freedom. 
and has since 1972. We changed the industry by formulating the first EPI qualified 100% synthetic motor oil. The rest of the market has been trying to follow our lead ever since. But a head start is a head start. We punish our products firsthand in our world-class laboratories and beyond. Because some things can't be learned from a test tube. Run with us. Honest Dave Roofing is America's favorite roofing company. I took the time to discuss all of our needs. I couldn't be happier with my new roof. The best part? They came in under budget. Honest Abe Roofing helped us with their easy payment solutions, and now we can make low payments on the roof that we actually wanted. I guarantee you'll get the best price for your roof. That's what my iron-clad lowest investment guarantee is all about. Race fans, use code RACE for 10% off of a full roof replacement from our executive collection. It's hard to contain your excitement when you get something you've really wanted. Like the gold standard in automotive protection, WeatherTech floor liners. With deep sculpted channels and laser measured for total protection in the front, back, and even up the sides. Dad, you're going viral. What? WeatherTech, WeatherTech me. So don't be shy, enjoy. Order your premium American-made products at WeatherTech.com. Work. So we're going to start pulling them off one by one and get set to go with our Dirt Draft Hot Laps. If you haven't played Dirt Draft, it's fantasy dirt track racing, just like any other fantasy sport. So once you get locked into it, you pick yourself a team of five drivers. They have a $100,000 salary cap. Every driver's worth money based on their previous performance. You pick your five drivers. Hopefully they do as well as possible because the better they do, the better you do. You earn points you can spend in the Dirt Draft Speed Shop for anything from pit passes to... I keep mentioning the Traeger grill, but there's Yeti coolers, there's T-shirts, there's hats, there's tri there's all kinds of stuff up there. You have to check it out, Speed Shop, up on DirtDraft.com. But you go to DirtDraft.com or download the DirtDraft app. Make sure you use the promo code USAC if you're signing up for the first time because you get a free DirtDraft USAC T-shirt, which is awesome. There's still a few moments away here from our Dirt Draft hot laps. I did not do well in Dirt Draft at Belleville. I can tell you that. Sweet Springs either. Sweet Springs, I think I was in the 600s. I finished like 600 and something. <laughs> it was not a did good Ethan weekend Marks for me in Dirt Draft. Oh, you know, probably. He always does. Ethan and Ken Marks, both of them are very good in Dirt Draft. I'm chugging along, though, trying to lead a championship. I play every race. I'm leading a championship in another division, but I'm not giving away my name because I don't want people to know how bad I do. If I did good all the time, I'd share it with you. I'm really happy to see Tom Hansing in the flag stand. However, I wish Tommy had a hat on. Yeah, he probably does too, or at least sunscreen. <laughs> he can hear us. He's just very cool about acting like he can't. So continue to idle them around here. Ran that, here's Richie with his, he said a really random stat. Somehow he pulled this one up. The last quick qualifier to win the Holman Classic was in the year 2001. Who do you think it was? Ask, talk amongst yourselves, and then we'll give you the answer. We don't have a prize for you because we're over here, and I'm not crossing the track. 2003. 2003. That was Richie said that was his fault. He gave me the wrong year, but I'm going to take the blame for it. So 2003 was the last quick qualifier 
to win the Holman Classic. So who do you think it is? No prizes for the correct, correct answer. Hang on, we'll give them the music, though. We got the thinking music here. All right, who is it? Who was the qu for early qu or last quick qualifier at one the Tony Holman Classic in 2003? J.J. Yaley. There you go. That was their thinking music, Pat. <laughs> Pat's like, what's this music? Are we playing a game? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> It's getting spread out. We're getting ready to cut him loose here for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Dean Mills high atop his Tower of Power down in turn number one. Just hoisted himself up into the air. Oh, look at this. Amber got it. She tweeted at me, and she got the correct answer before we gave it. I wish I had a prize for you, Amber. Try to clean it up in the middle, uh, up in turn number two. The call being given out to the drivers over the receiver. Again, UMP Modified's in the house with us tonight. I think we'll have two or three groups coming out. They'll have group qualifying. We will qualify two cars at a time when we get into Honest Day Roofing qualifying here tonight. But right now, it's Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Get ready to cut them loose here for session number one of three with 24 cars checked in for racing action. First group has Dason personally in the 5P, the 5X, the black 5X. That's Max Adams. Travis Thompson behind the wheel of the uh, number seven car. The three R Kyle Cummins, the I-1 of Ivan Glotzbach. Justin Grant, the number four, the 19 AZ of Mitchell Moles, and Carson Garrett, the number 15. So they are all out here in this first group. Okay, J.J. Yaley, that's quick time, wins the Homer Classic. What else did J.J. Yaley do in 2003? Pretty spectacular. Was spectacular. I believe he won himself a triple crown, did he? He won himself a triple crown one year, joining Tony Stewart. He's the second guy to ever do that. Now, he won 24 national events, 25 if you include one that was more of a special event here in Terre Haute. But trust me, he was on fire. No doubt about it. Forced to contend with. It's lights out for now. We're going to hot lap him. We'll probably pack a little bit with him again and then uh, hot lap him again. New promotership coming in. Shout out to Bill Rose coming out here to promote this event. We appreciate everything he's doing. and. Obviously not coming into it with a massive amount of equipment, but just enough equipment. We'll get out here and make this happen. So the car is helping us out with some wheel packing tonight. But it's just good to be racing Terre Haute Action Track. This is a racetrack that uh, we easily could have lost in the 2023 season if uh, he wouldn't have stepped in and taken over as a promoter. Instead of around here, I'll get things figured out. A little bit of texture to the racetrack. I like that. Can't run around here full goose bozo. Carson Garrett right now is the uh, quickest. 21.023, 21.023. Mitchell Moles second quick. Max Adams, Justin Grant, your top three. And that is a beautiful shot. Coming down the front stretch. That looks good, Dean. Sexy. 
Yeah, pretty shot of Mitchell Bowles, Raisin City, California driver, hustling that AME electrical inch right down the bottom of that manicured infield. So many classic shots of USAC races at Terre Haute. Is indeed Mitch doing a stellar job down the grandstand area down off of turn number four. So that'll be session number one. Check and flag, checkered flag coming out on a Mitchell Bowles, the quickest, the 24.85, 20.485. Max Adams second quick. And the 5X car, Carson Garrett bumped down to third quick. Then Cal Cummins and Justin Grant, the top five. Jason Persley, Travis Thompson, Ivan Glotzbach, the eight cars that were on track in group number one of three. Group number two sets come out. Just to give you a heads up whenever we go with our on state roofing qualifying tonight, they will take the green when they come out of the gate. So they fire off down the pit area, bounce out onto the racetrack, and punch the throttle and take the green flag the first time by. Which makes sense. They got half a straightaway to get up to speed. It saves time and saves the racetrack. Also, two cars coming out for qualifying a little bit later on as well. Right now, we'll bring out group number two. The second group should have Worthington, Indiana racer Jaden Rogers in the number five. Chase Stock out Fort Branch, Indiana in the 5S. The 28 of Brandon Maddox from Terre Haute, right here in Terre Haute, Indiana. Matt West following the 33M. Brady Bacon, the Macho Man, behind the wheel, the number 69. To be a Logan CV, 34 of Sterling Kling, the 16th of Kevin Newton. Should be coming out in group number two of three. Brady Bacon uh, has a famous T-shirt from here. It was based off he a does. photo that was caught just off of the corner. We probably won't see a photo like that again. Hopefully, we don't see a wreck like that again. But uh, what a night he had left uh, the park and... Came back in in the backup car and ended up ultimately finishing out on a podium that night. But uh, if you want a T-shirt, they have the T-shirts out, his merchandise and apparel trailer. And if you want to see the car, you can go to Sham's DNR Racing Museum, and he has it on display just as it went over the fence. <laughs> that was um, It was a jaw-dropping moment. I can tell you I was from right here in this position when it happened. Matt Westfall, it was great to see Matt, the 1998 Neymar's Midget Champion, back in a midget here recently. That was kind of fun to see Matt in there. Back in the small car. Yeah, had the 54 car out there. He said, we might see him off and on again throughout the season with the midget, just kind of having a little bit of fun. I thought for sure I had him talked into stopping at Sweet Springs, but that was not the case. But uh, <laughs> we tried. Yeah. He was really affected by the cottonwood trees as a native kids, and I know how they can get you. And he was, he was struggling a little bit out there. He was down, but not quite out. And then he was out. And again, there's Jaden in the Baldwin number five. We mentioned he's won a couple of sprint car races in a row here. Yeah, it was a national rookie of the year back in 2020. Actually picked up the Hobstad Hustler Champ uh, Championship last year down at Tri-City Speedway, or Tri-State Speedway, rather, down in Hobstad, Indiana, down at the class track. We'll be visiting there before too off along. I was talking about the schedule coming up this week, these next two nights. The start time has changed. It'll be 6.30 tomorrow and Thursday at Circle City Raceway for the Circle City Salute to Indy. And then we will head to Indianapolis Raceway Park on Friday, but following that, even more racing action coming up as we finish off the month of May and head out to Knoxville Raceway on June 2nd and 3rd for the Corn Belt Clash. The second night of that, also a Bubby Jones Master Going Faster presented by Spire Sports and Entertainment. But the Corn Belt Clash happening on June 2nd and 3rd. That's also the weekend for the uh, induction ceremony into the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame Museum. You will be there for that, Pat. We'll, we'll both be there for that. But I you're, you're working will. the induction ceremony. And then we got the uh, trusty old Corn Belt Clash. And then following that, on the 4th of June, that kicks off Indiana Midget Week, and it starts down at the class track at uh, Tri-State Speedway. Rolls on through Circle City Raceway, Gas City I-69, Lincoln Park, Bloomington, Lawrenceburg, and then ends at Kokomo on the 11th. And, and speaking of inductions at Knoxville, I see an inductee on this year's class right in front of us. He is indeed. It's going to be a great day. Kind of scouting things out. Hey, can we get him in a non-wing sprint car tonight? He's ignoring us. He's ignoring us. Green flag coming out on session number two. Quickest so far in dirt draft hot laps. Mitchell Bowles with that 20.485. We'll see if anybody's able to improve on that as you watch the 2B car head down the back chute. Logan Seavey. Rocking and rolling his way around. Green flag is out on this session. Speaking of 2B car, you can follow them on 2B Racing on Facebook. Got a nice little racing page going on. They got a lot of documentation taking place. They have a uh, full-time documentarian 
following that team around, which is pretty cool. The Macho Man, Brady Bacon slices underneath the turn one camera. Jade Rogers back behind, white flag coming out on this one. And Well, Chase Stock and plenty quick getting around this joint. He's into the number two spot. Mitchell Moles still P1 on the field. Checkered flag comes out. 82 thousandths of a second between himself and Mitchell Moles. Moles still up top. Chase Stock and Logan CB third quick with a 26.83. And then Brady Bacon and Max Adams now your top five. Brandon Maddox just outside the top five. He's six quick on the field. That's good for the 28 car. He has struggled last season. He's starting to come around this season, though, but uh, not the Brandon Maddox we were used to seeing. Yeah, and I think there's some explanations for that. They're just going into them in depth. But, you know, sometimes you make a tweak in your program and it goes the other direction, to be perfectly honest with you. He, he made so many shows the year that he was the most approved driver. It was a very popular decision because everyone likes to watch a guy who just puts his heart and soul in it and, uh, and does what he can to get to the racetrack each and every week. So I'll bring out group number three, and it's going to be Tim Creech. In the 31C, 24M, a Hunter Maddox, 12, a Robert Blue, Emerson Axum into 47BC, CJ Larry, the 15X, Jake Swanson, the 21AZ, the 17GP, a Kevin Thomas Jr., and 47, a charge in Charles Davis. Who got the 75 pill coming into tonight? So we draw from one to 75 pills for our qualifying order, and he came up to the table, was happy to be here. He's still happy to be here, but uh, unfortunately, that 75 came out, so he's our last qualifier that will be out on the track here today. Number to beat, still Mitchell Moles, 20.485. Stock and CV, Bacon, and Adam, still your top five. As I told you about that just a few moments ago. Boy, a couple of national sprint car champions in this group. You add to that Kevin Thomas Jr. who just climbing up the ladder, remember. He once finished in a flat tie in points with Sunshine Tyler Courtney. Blue, again, Roberts continues to move up the win total list. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting as time goes on as these drivers start to make their way into the top 10, top five all time. Yeah, this is this is our, I guess you call it the next generation, if you will, yeah. because there's, they've become the Wiley veterans at this point. They used to be the kids, and they now have. that's not the case. They've taken over the helm. And they've had great success, and they've also raced at a time where there's been more USAC events, give them more chance to win, all ch catching Dave Darlin. And Dave Darlin, by the way, 30 years ago, in 1993, won his very first USAC event ever at the Holman Classic. Nets, you talk about driver development, that took him a little while to get that first national It win. absolutely did. He was, in so many ways, a local legend at Kokomo and uh, Lincoln Park, et cetera. We have a gentleman visiting us out of Michigan. We want to shout out and uh, give him a big thank you for coming out here, Joshua Lacombe. Josh Lacombe, thanks for coming out and joining us here at the uh, Terre Haute Action Track. I'm sorry you're having not such a great evening because you lost your wallet, but we can help you out with that. If you come up here to the tower, we've got your wallet. So all the way down from Michigan. Just dropped yeah, that you're all right, Josh. We got it. No, go ahead and put that on his card on my Amazon. Whoop, my mic's still on. Green flag coming out and get ready to cut him loose. This is our third and final group for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Josh, if you're on the other side, you can make your way into the infield through the tunnel and you can come up here and see us. Well, we got your wallet up here. Don't worry about it. Blue's car has a lot of drive off the corner. Charging Charles Davis Jr. there looking good. Kevin Thomas Jr. 
former winner, 20.125. And he goes into the number one spot. We'll see if he hang on to because Blue just went second oh, you quick. Bet. Robert has always, and this sounds silly to say, he's a three-time winner, but he's always gone well here no matter what the race. Seems to be a bit of a big track guy. You know, you talk about his first wins coming at like Eldora Speedway and different things like that. Likes the big tracks, likes carrying a lot of momentum. He's very good at carrying momentum, and I don't know if that comes from his wing sprint car background or what the case may be, but definitely a force to contend with here. But KTJ... Might be one to watch, 20.125, so less than a second off that track record. Jake Swanson just took the number two spot away from Robert Ballou in the 19, or I'm sorry, 21AZ car. The Team uh, Arizona Racing, 20.203. Heavy hitters, Kevin Thomas Jr., Jake Swanson, Robert Ballou, and C.J. Leary, who's off to a great start this year. Yeah, Leary sitting fourth, and Mitchell Moles bumped down to the number five spot in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. All 24 cars were able to come out here and take time. Now's your time to get your uh, lineup penciled in for Dirt Draft and get ready to go with our Honest Abe Roofing Qualifying. So the Honest Abe Roofing Qualifying here tonight coming out will be two cars on the track. They will uh, push off, take the green the first time by the flag stand. And then also a nice little bonus from the uh, Stapp family, the uh, Steve the Bopper Stapp $250 bonus to the quick qualifier tonight. And if they can break the track record, another $250 here at the uh, Terre Haute Action Track on you this know, 53rd running of the Holman Classic. We're going to really miss Steve, particularly on Friday next week, because he was one of the star attractions during the roundtable, informal roundtable that will be held in the afternoon uh, before the uh, – you know, just kick off the weekend with the Corn Belt Classic and the induction ceremony. Uh, he was, uh, him and Lynn Paxton from Pennsylvania trading barbs was just priceless. And we certainly appreciate everything that family has done for our sport. So get set to go with our Honest Day Roofing qualifying. Again, two cars on track, green the first time by. Honest Day Roofing, America's reliable roofer, will present the Fast Qualifying Award for all three USAC National Divisions throughout the 2023 season. Honest Day has been installing, repairing, and maintaining residential roofs since 2005, and they want to give you a perfect roof to protect your home and keep you comfortable. Honest Day provides the fastest service in the roofing industry, just like they're supporting the fastest driver and qualification. Visit HonestDayRoofing.com today to schedule your free roof inspection. So Tom, ready to rock and roll with him up in the flag stand. Joey, we found a car for you. You ready to go racing? Here we go, first qualifier coming out onto the racetrack. Going to be the racer hailing from Locust Grove, Oklahoma. The KO Motorsports, Hudson John Deere, S&C Machine, Peterbilt, number 5P. That's Dason Pursley and a Flea RC chassis and a J&D Chevy-powered 5P car. Behind him, the 5X car. That's a spike chassis with an FG3 Chevy underneath the hood. Scott Adams own 5X. Datacom Promotions, Bennett Enterprises, Good Night Racing, Felker Racing Engine, sponsors on the 5X. 20.721, lap number one for Dason Persley. So chase her down the back straightaway. Max Adams carrying a lot of speed onto the front chute. First trip for him is going to be quick time. 20.366, 20.366. Lap number one for Adams. Persley looking for improvement on the second lap. He'll find it, but stay second quick. At 20.393, 20.393 as Max Adams rolls his way through turn number four and onto the front straightaway. And that baby is a humming. Down the front shoot, he goes a 19, 9, 6, 4, 1, 9.964. First lap in the 19 second bracket out here, your second qualifier out onto the racetrack. That'll bring out our next qualifiers. First one coming out onto the racetrack is going to be the racer hailing from Princeton, Indiana, and Rocksteady Racing, Avanti Windows and Doors, Tim Mason Remax, Greenwell Autobody, number three, R. Kyle Cummins. And joining him back behind, Ivan Glotzbach. Glotzbach out of Fillmore, Indiana, to Brian Hayden Racing. Racers custom collision repair, knuckle buster retrievers, Y1. Lap number one for Cummins, second quick at 20.251, 20.251. 
Lots box, first effort coming across for the I-1 car. He's going to blaze through here with a 22.517, 22.517 for Glotzbach. He's in the number four spot. Second effort for Cummins. Tight to the wall as he got underneath the flag stand. He's quicker, goes to 20.156, 20.156, but Max Adams still up top with the 5X car. Glotzbach looking for improvement for the number four spot. He's able to crank off a 22.073. He too improves on the second lap, but stays fourth quick on the field. Your next qualifier rolls out of the gate, and this is going to be the top motorsports ride for my own California. Nos Energy Drink, Bo Foundation, Top Industries. That's Justin Grant, your defending national champ in a number four car, heading down the back chute. And behind him comes the racer out of Brazil, Indiana, and Travis Thompson, owned number seven. That is Travis Thompson, always heating and cooling. See him on occasion down to Chili Bowl. I believe he's running the Chili Bowl in the past. Here comes the number four car out of turn number four. Lap number one is going to be, well, fourth quick on the field of 20.602, 20.602. And a rooster tail awesome coming off the back of the number seven car. Travis Thompson's first effort, six quick on the field of 22.192. So 22.192. Max Adams still the number to beat, a 19,964. Track record, a 19,225. Second effort, second quick, a 20.004, 20.004 for Grant. He moves into the number two spot by 40 thousandths of a second or four one hundredths of a second. Second effort for Thompson's quicker, goes fifth quick with a 21.785, 21.785. So here comes a shot at your top spot, I believe is gonna be your next car coming out of the gate. He hails from Raisin City, California, made his debut here with the Emsoy USAC National Sprint Car Series last year. The AMB Electrical, the Sea Valley Transportation 19AZ, that's Mitchell Moles. And behind Moles goes the number 15 car out of Littleton, Colorado. BGE, Dower to Motorsports, Altaz, Hornbeck Concrete, Larry Shock Technology, number 15, a Carson Garretts. It's Mitchell Moles, rowing for all he's worth. Out of turn number four, lap number one. It's going to be fourth quick on the field, a 20.172, 20.172. Carson Garretts first lap, not too shabby, goes six quick with a 21.078, 21.078. It's Mitchell Moles, rocking and rolling. Got the wheels up. So he exited out turn number four, all the way to the top spot with a 19.738, 19.738 P1 for Mitchell Moles. Carson Garrett improves, but stays six quick at 20.927, 20.927. Mitchell Moles, now your quick qualifier with a 19.738. Bring out our next two qualifiers, and I believe it's going to be the number five S of Chase Stockin. Out of Fort Branch, Indiana, Banded Ag, Day Week Meets, Amsoil, number five S car, and the number five, that is the Baldwin Fox Racing, Fox Paving, Kane Automotive Supply, Car Quest number five, and Jaden Rogers. As Rogers tucks her into the guardrail down turn number one and two, has a nice rotation at end of the racetrack. Keep it low and keep it hustling. Lap number one for the five is going to be six quick on a field of 20.823 for Stockin. So 20.823 into the number six spot for Chase Stockin. And first effort for the number five of Jaden Rogers is going to be eighth quick at 21.536. 21.536. Look at that line down at that end of the racetrack. Your car's handling very well. Second effort for Stockin. Better, but stay six quick at 20.697. 20.697. See if Jaden's able to improve. Right now, sits eighth quick on the field. It's his second lap. Getting across a little bit better, but still eighth quick. A 21.167, 21.167. So still eighth quick for the number five of Jaden Rogers. It's a Terre Haute, Indiana racer. And the Newman Motorsports, Maddox Heating and Cooling, number 28. That's Brandon Maddox, DRC chassis with a Cummins Chevrolet underneath the hood. Your second qualifier coming out right behind him. It's going to hail from Pleasant Hill, Ohio. Buckeye Machine, Hempy Water. He still sounds a little stuffed up, if I'm not to be perfectly honest. DRC Chassis, Pressman Chevrolet. That's Matt Westfall into 33M. Got himself a quick qualifying time in the sprint cars this year at Eldora. As a cross goes Maddox, eighth quick on the field, 21.127, 21.127. Westfall a little sideways coming out, turn number four, scrubs some speed. And it goes tenth quick on the field, 21.480, 21.480. That little slip of the grip knocks about a tenth of a second or so off your time. It's Matt got a nice line coming out there for the number 28. He'll bump into seventh quick on the field to 20.723, 20.723. And Westfall looks much better on his second lap as well. 33M car goes ninth quick with a 20.978, 20.978.
Bring out your next qualifier. Should be the macho man, Brady Bacon. Out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Longworth Properties, May Shed. Telstar, drive WFX.com. FedEx Eyewear, number 69 car. Bumping on that throttle down here. Longworth Properties and May Shed coming on board for this race. And beyond him, look at that. Did that thing look like it was going to wing over and it didn't have a wing on it? That's Logan Seavey out of Sutter, California. Honest Day Roofing, Bennett Enterprises, Good Night Racing. Sponsors on that 2B. It's Bacon. Working a little wider line, coming out of the corner, lap number one, six quick at 20.460, 20.460. And CB coming across, his first effort's gonna be ninth quick with a 20.902, 20.902. It's Bacon, a little bobble right in the apex of turn number three and four for the number 69 car, keeps his foot to the 10. Second effort coming across, quicker goes fifth quick at 20.175, 20.175. CV's second effort, better as well. He'll go seventh quick with a 20.482, 20.482. Mitchell Moles, still the man to beat. The 19AZ with a 19.738, still sitting in the number one spot. It's now the racer. Hailing from Tempe, Arizona. The Sterling Kling Racing, Jeff's jamming in storage. Hey, Jeff's out here with us tonight. Who's your racing tire? Sterling Kling. And behind the wheel, the number 34 car. And behind him goes Tim Creech the second out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And the Taylor's Truck and Trailer Service. Kitasaki's Cactus Farm Bell Helmets. Number 31C. That car a throwback to his dad's old car. Kling coming across. Picked up the front end just right at the end of the grandstand. Goes 13th quick at 21.199. 21.199. Creech goes 12th quick with the 21061. So 21.061. Sterling. Into turn number three and four. On to the front shoot. A little bob and weave action coming out. Turn number four. Still approves. Goes 10th quick with the 20.907. 20.907. Tim Creech's second effort. Well, not quite as good. 21.543. So he will stay 13th quick on the field for the 31C car. It's next outs. Hunter Maddox, the out of wheel of the 24M car. Hunter coming out of Bloomington, Indiana. Airmaster Heating and Air Conditioning, TJD Roofing, number 24M. And the 16th car, that's Scoot Newton, Kevin Newton, out of Farmersburg, Indiana. Nostay Roofing, Benning Enterprises, number 16TH, former Neymar's midget champ. He's also an auto value super sprint champ as well. First trip across for Hunter. Now he's going to be 17th quick on the field at 22.201. 22.201, Kevin Newton. Making her across here, he's gonna go 16th quick. Hey, imagine that for a 16 car, or 16th car. 21.883, 21.883 for Kevin Newton on lap number one, so 16th quick for the 16th. So here comes Hunter, he'll bump him out of that though. He goes 15th quick, better effort on the second lap with the 21.748, and Kevin Newton Getting with a giddy up right there as well. Goes quicker, but stays 17th quick with the 21.843, 21.843. This is going to be a quick pairing coming out next onto the racetrack. That's the madman, Robert Blue, out of Rockland, California. Blue Motorsports, Suburban Subaru, Burks Western Telecom, number 12 car. And joining him should be last year's National Rookie of the Year. Nope, we go to the 15X, rather. C.J. Leary out of Greenfield, Indiana. Altaz, Hornbeck Concrete, Highsmith Guns, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, 15X. Former national sprint car champ, beyond the wheel of the 15 car. Blue, a former national champ as well. He goes 10th quick on lap number one at 20.866, 20.866. CJ's first effort coming across all the way to the number eight spot at 20.629, 20.629. Eighth quick for CJ Leary. Blue, better run this time. Just coasted out of turn number four. He goes all the way to the number six spot at the 20.333, 20.333. CJ Leary out over the cushion. Coming out turn number four, not going to be as good. Nope, 20.901. So 20.629, he'll have to settle, settle for ninth quick on the field for the 15X. So there comes last year's National Rookie of the Year. Lots of Marshall Racing, driven to save lives. Z-Max Race Lubricants, number 47 BC of Franklin, Indiana's Emerson Axum. And behind him, the Team Arizona Racing, Apache Transport, Stratus Construction, USW Cat Construction. 21AZ of Jake Swanson out of Anaheim, California. See Emerson Axum riding a wheelie coming out. Turn number four for the 47 BC. That was awesome. 16th quick on the field of 21.089. 21.089. All the way to the number four spot. 20.128 for Jake Swanson. 20.128 needs three tenths of a second. 
Literally, the blink of an eye is what he's looking for. Down the back straightaway into the corner. Emerson Axon looking for big improvement as well. Will he find it? Well, he finds improvement. Goes 16th quick with the 21.055. Jake Swanson. Hey, it goes second quick at 19.916. 19.916 for Jake Swanson. Second quick behind Mitchell Moles. Now Kevin Thomas Jr. will take a stab at this thing. Keep your eye on the 17 GP down in turn number one and two for the Coleman, Alabama runner. Lifestyle Homes, Griffin's Popane, Parallax. Number 17 GP and behind him, George and Charles Davis Jr. Out of Buckeye, Arizona, MP Environmental, RSS Industries, Conroy, New Control, number 47. Both of them singing a merry tune. KTJ gets across. He'll go 10th quick on the field at 20.522, or I'm sorry, 20.552 rather. So 20.552 for KTJ, Charge and Charles, first ever for the 47 car. 17th quick at 20.987, 20.987. He got out of throttle way late on the straightaway. Charge and Charles might have better lap if he can hang on to it. Here comes KTJ from 10th quick. He's going to stay 10th quick. Was quicker on the second lap, but not enough to get Logan Seabe out of the number nine spot. So KTJ with the 20.532 stays 10th quick on the field. Charge and Charles. Jumps up into the number 14 spot at 20.800, 20.800, so 14th quick. And I believe that is your 24 cars that have all taken time. Tonight's quick qualifier made his national debut here last year, ultimately finished second. And lo and behold, Mitchell Moles will be tonight's Honest Day Roofing quick qualifier with a 19.738 and picking up an extra $250 from the Stapp family. For Steve, the bopper staff, that uh, in memory of him, the $250 bonus here in Honest Abe Roofing qualifying. But Mitchell Moles, quick qualifier here tonight. Jake Swanson goes second quick. Third quick was Max Adams. Fourth quick, Justin Grant. And then Cal Cummins was your top five. Followed by Brady Bacon, Robert Blue, Dason Persley, Logan Seavey, and Kevin Thomas Jr., your top ten. Eleventh quick was C.J. Leary. Twelfth quick, Chase Stockin, Brandon Maddox, Charles Davis Jr., Sterling Kling, and Carson Garrett, your top 16. Matt Westfall, 17th quick, and Emerson Axum, your top 18. That's your inversion cars for tonight. As I believe we'll have three heat races lining up for tonight's racing action. Top five from each of the heats will advance into the feature event, and the rest will come from the Ellie's Custom Trailers of Cards semi-feature a little bit later on. So official uh, qualifying will come out on, if you follow USAC Nation on Twitter, don't forget to follow along with uh, Flow Racing on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Find USAC up there on all those as well. Download the Flow Sports app. Don't forget your Flow Racing subscription covers a lot of different sports. As a matter of fact, 25 different verticals as Tommy makes his way into the tower. Here comes Mitchell Moles down across the racetrack. Picked up the National Midget Rookie of the Year honors last year. Won the USAC Nationals Sprint Car portion up at 